One thing I really like to do is to compare an ecosystem, a token-based ecosystem, with the development of countries. Because if you think about it, they're pretty much the same. A country is really an ecosystem defined by its geographical constraint or its judicial rules. That aside, ecosystems are basically this marketplace where people come and trade and transact together. So they are bounded by the asset used to trade. So the asset would be the currency, the currency used to trade. Okay, that aside, the similarities between token-based ecosystems as well as this nation states is very, very insightful for us to develop ecosystems because the way we look at how countries develop, how countries started, how countries continuously grow, how countries manage their recession, their economic boom, we can use these methods and these lessons in terms of policies, in terms of governance, and embed these code or embed these changes and these policies into a token-based ecosystem. And that really helps you to take into consideration what is a robust enough ecosystem? What does the ecosystem need to grow and continuously improve? So, for example, how China came out to develop and open up to the whole world versus like how US came into power. And understanding these differences give us some insight to understand how protocols or how ecosystems can collaborate with each other, coordinate, have more international trade, for instance, which is more transactions with each other to help develop a very robust synergistic ecosystem. That being said, there's also a lot of insights that you can see from developing nations, from developing countries, from developing economies to understand what kind of policies are relevant or needed in different life stages of an ecosystem. So that's what I've been working on. And of course, all these different things will be added into the book version two because we're doing a second edition of the book. So that can probably give you some insights to understand how ecosystems develop, how to design ecosystems and how to maintain ecosystems. Because the easiest part is to start, then to grow. But how do you maintain a steady state? How do you continuously develop? That is still key. I will share more as I go with all these different understandings and research that I've been figuring out. And keep you updated. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!